Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating quite a few things right here on your Mac. So to get started, on the top left hand side of your screen you're going to see the Apple logo. Let's just go right into it. And from there you're going to see the third option where it's going to say App Store. So those are the updates that we're going to be looking at today. So let's open that up. Once we open that up, we're going to see all the updates. On the top right hand corner, we're going to see Update All. So we can just click on Update All to get all the updates. If you don't see a particular update, for example, let's say we're looking for Microsoft Word and we're looking for that specific update. Let's just go on the top left hand side and we're going to just go into search and type in Microsoft Word. Once you type in Microsoft Word, it's supposed to see this popping up. And our first thing will be Microsoft Word on the top right hand corner. It's supposed to say update. In this case, we can also go into Microsoft Word. So let's just click on Microsoft Word. And from here, we're going to see this screen. In here, we can just tap on the top left hand side. It's going to say update. So for example, I can just tap right there. I can also see more information right here about Microsoft Word itself, or I can always go back into updates. So on the left hand side, bottom, I'm going to see updates. I'm going to click right there. And then I'm back here. How do I know these updates are actually happening? Well, I can see that this is almost full. So Microsoft Word is the first one that I'm updating and it is working in fact. And this is supposed to be pretty small. So if I click on more, I'm going to see that it's only a gig. So gigs, pretty small. So it does depend on your internet speed. If you guys have slower internet speed, of course, this will take longer. It could take even 30 minutes if you guys have really slow internet. With faster internet speeds, this could take a couple seconds, minutes. So it really does depend on that. So it's the same thing with every single one of these updates. Next up, we're going to do OneDrive. So we're just going to tap on Update. We're going to click on More. And this one's only 55 megabytes. Now, the reason why I'm clicking more is just to show you how big each one of these updates is. You don't need to do that. We can always hit on Update All up here on the top right hand corner and update them all. And I'm actually going to do that just to show you how that works. So Update All and each one of these will update. At this time, you can even close right now at the App Store and it's gonna update by themselves anyways. Right now, I can see Microsoft Excel. I'm gonna click on more. This one is 804 megabytes, so that's Microsoft Excel. Microsoft OneNote, on the other hand, click on more. It's only 409 megabytes. Next up, Microsoft Outlook, if I click on more. I'm going to see 800 megabytes. Microsoft PowerPoint is only 714 megabytes. And the last thing on our list would be WhatsApp, which is only 142 megabytes. So these are pretty small updates. And yes, once they're done, they're just going to go into updated recently. So they will drop down from up here all the way down here once they're updated. So for example, Microsoft Word has been updated. OneDrive has been updated. And as soon as all the other ones will update, they will come down here. We're not going to see any more updates available for our Macs. So that's how easy and simple it is to update any program on your Mac. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.